today we will discuss another important matter of organic chemistry and this is related to nitrogen containing organic compounds basically we will learn about the preparation of primary amine from the carboxylic acid and this primary amine contain nh2 group as a functional group which is the family member of nitrogen containing organic compounds this conversion that is primary amine from the carboxylic acid can be achieved by hobman cartier smith and lucen reaction via rearrangement but today we will focus only on hobman rearrangement but don't worry others rearrangement reaction that is the cartier smith or lucen reaction can be discussed in another video now what is the primary goal of the reaction we want to convert the acid amide which is the derivative of carboxylic acid to primary amine now what is the important feature of the reaction we can see that the number of carbon is decreased when we convert acid amide to the primary amine this types of reaction is known as the this types of reaction is known as the degradation reaction now what is the reagent the reagent is bromine in basic medium that is bromine in koh or bromine in noh now we know the goal and the reagent now we want to know how can this convert or how can conversion is done to know this we have to know more about the mechanism first the acidic proton of amide which is attached to the nitrogen is abstracted by the oh minus ion which is formed from the base and this base is used as the reagent the form product uh, will react with bromine atom or bromine molecules and add one bromine to the nitrogen but still now there is a hydrogen with nitrogen so base again abstract this acidic hydrogen and after that we can see that this will form in bromide compound and this compound will undergo the key step of the reaction this compound undergo this key step involving rearrangement of r which is done by intramolecularly and in a concerted way after this isocyanate isocyanate intermediate will be formed and this intermediate or this isocyanate will attacked by the water at the carbonyl carbon and after the hydrolysis it will form the primary amine and carbon dioxide as the ultimate product now what will be the r this r group may be alkyl or aryl group if carbonyl carbon of the amide is leveled with the isotope then where will it be found or when we get the ultimate product then this isotope leveling carbon what will be the isotope leveling carbon to know this we have to again get back to the reaction mechanism in this mechanism we can see that this isotope leveling carbon will be found at the carbon dioxide why because this r group is migrated intramolecularly to form the isocyanate as a intermediate in this intermediate this is the carbonyl carbon contain the isotope level and it will hydrolyze to carbon dioxide so basically the carbon dioxide the carbon of carbon dioxide will contain the isotope leveling if the r group is the aryl group that is a benzene ring with a substitution then what will be the effect of this substitution to the rate we know that the step of formation of 
n bromide compound after the elimination of bromine is the rds and it will proceed through the sn2 like pathway if there is electron donating group in benzene ring that is the methoxy group or och3 group at the para position then the migratory tendency of the aryl group is increased as it is the sn2 type reaction this electron donating group help the benzene ring to participate in neighboring group participation to form a cyclic compound this cyclic compound will readily break down to form the isocyanate intermediate this isocyanate intermediate then again hydrolyzed and it will product the amine so in conclusion we can say that the electron donating group increase the rate of the reaction of hobman degradation reaction if we add these two compounds simultaneously and perform hobman rearrangement in similar condition then what will be the product because there is a two difference in two products one products contain a substitution benzene ring and another product contain a isotope leveling of nitrogen after combine these two product and perform the hobman degradation reaction we can think that we can obtain these types of products which is the cross product but actually these types of cross product are not found after the reaction of hobman degradation reaction rather we get this types of normal product that is the substitution benzene ring from a normal amine and another compound which has a isotope level or marking at the nitrogen it will also form the normal aniline there will be no cross product from this we can conclude that the rearrangement of the r group that is here aryl group is the intermolecularly and in a concerted process and these types of experiment is known as the crossover experiment as the cross product does not found in reaction as a product so definitely the rearrangement is of uh, rearrangement of the aryl group is intermolecularly and as in a concerted way the rearrangement is intermolecularly can be proved by another way we can take these types of optically active amide compound and this is undergoing the hobman rearrangement this is a s configurated i mean if you know more about the rs configuration then uh, there is a link in description check it out after the hobman rearrangement we will get a amine with the same configuration that is s configuration s chiral group is not detached or completely free and therefore rearrangement step is intramolecular and concerted process and retention of configuration is found in this product i mean after the seeing all of this mechanism all of this reaction theme theory can you now able to synthesis mesetyl amine by this reaction if you want to get hydrazine by this reaction then what will be the starting materials and we know that acetaldehyde can be converted to the lactic acid by reaction of hcn followed by the hydrolysis but can this lactic acid will be converted to the acetaldehyde by this reaction think again and again you get surprising answer if you face any problem then watch this video more and more